What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here, bringing you another episode of Civ City here on Aviator Games. Last time we left off, I started another city next to Aviatortopia called Slumdog. And basically, Slumdog is going to be the producer of our power, our water, our sewage. Um, we're going to have it produce our freight and our jobs for our communities and stuff like that. It's basically a starter city for Sims that aren't wealthy enough to live in Aviatortopia, the great metropolis. So basically, it's like an outskirt, like a smaller city but let me show you what has happened to aviator trot or aviator topia since uh, the last time we left off so basically i added this huge pro statement i don't think i had this last time but i added this it uh, costs quite a bit of money but we're going to spend a lot of money today so as you can see we have about eight hundred thousand dollars in the bank we're going to spend three hundred thousand dollars on having a legends of rock concert uh i'm nervous about doing this but we're going to do it and that's going to be tonight then we're going to go over to this stadium the expo center and I know this might sound contradictory, co contradictory, but we're going to spend $45,000 on another rock concert. So two rock concerts in one night. Then go to the opera house and schedule play. So we have three big things happening tonight. And I, I've done this one other time, and it did pretty well. I didn't make a lot of money on this huge um, pro stadium. I made like 30, 40 grand. Um, but I, it covered all my costs, and it gave me 40 grand. And plus, it helps my casino do better. On days I have a lot of events planned, so we're gonna have a crap ton of people coming through the train. Look, we have about 29,000 people a day that make the trip on the train to come to our great city, and I think that's just amazing. Everyone comes to look at these little things we have here. Look, at this makes us like $30,000 a day. Then we have this giant building. People like to look at that. We have our casino. We're hopefully gonna get a bigger casino. I think we have to make 50,000 in one day to to get some casino upgrades. So. We're really close to moving in on that. Oh, what does the fire department want now? What do you want? Fire coverage. The fire coverage. Okay, so I think the fire coverage is pretty good. Let's see. So, no buildings burned down today. There's one fire a day, and it's always extinguished. So, yeah, our city here in Aviatopia is running great. We're going to see how, you know, the concerts and everything go tonight. But let me flash over to Slumdog, and I'll show you how Slumdog's come along. Now, I sent a total. Uh, I know last episode I sent $250,000 to Slumdog because we were close to going bankrupt from Aviatortopia. Um, I had to send another 250000 So, t so far, totally, I have sent um, half a million dollars to this great city of Slumdog to get it going. But now look at this, though. It's making $8,000 an hour. It's got 17,000 people living in it. And it's making a crap ton off the coal mines, you guys. So we have two coal mines. This is coal mine number one. It's producing 120 tons of coal a day. That is 240,000 pounds of coal a day we are producing. And it sells for about 5,000 per 10 tons. So we're making a lot of money per day off that. It's, what is that, like $60,000? And then this is our second mine, also producing 120. So we're making $120,000 a day just off coal mines. It's a little more than that, I would say. So every hour when we get paid this 9,000, we also get paid uh, randomly because of our trade depot selling our coal. So uh, it's like we get huge amounts of money. This town earns a lot of money. So my plan is one day for them to pay back Aviatortopia that $500,000. But right now, as you can see, we do have some mansions going up in this city, some nice nicer real estate because I added some better parks. A lot of you guys were like, you need to add parks to make these citizens happy. So right now the approval rate in this town is 68%. The residents are somewhat happy. Commercial is a little bit happier and also industrial. This is this is definitely an industrial town. But then I also added this pristine sewage system. So this is a sewage treatment plant and because basically the other little sewage things could not handle the sewage from two cities. But uh, this one, look at this, look at this. It gets giant poops. Look at those poops. That's from Aviatortopia. And it's able to process them. But it was expensive. So I have six tanks. Each tank was $40,000. I think it's time to add another tank to our arsenal here. And that's what we're going to do. Because we, we need a maxed out sewage treatment center. Uh, we don't have to worry about sewage for a long time. Or water. Or electric. Everything here is running pretty well, and I'm really proud of this town. Slumdog's doing really well. It, it might not have to be called Slumdog much longer. We might be able to change the name someday to Normal Dog. <laughs> but we had a couple upgrades to the City Hall also. We got uh, the new police uh, upgrade or whatever. So basically with the police upgrade, it allows us to have uh, better police stations, uh, fire departments, uh, hospitals, stuff like that. And this city, you guys, was ravaged with sick people. People were dying like every single day in here. People were moving out because of the sickness and all the fires. So I had to give the city its own fire department. 
So that was kind of expensive. I gave them their own uh, police station also, and that's located right here. And then I gave them their own uh, little health clinic. And I also am still sending fire trucks and ambulances and police cars to patrol this area. Because this has a little more crime than my other city because it's kind of down in the dumps, you know. So people are a little depressed, so they go and kill people, I guess. But uh, about yeah, about 4,000 people commute to this city a day. So I'm guessing it's some averager people from Aviartopia coming to work at some of the great factories and coal mines we have here. Um, so I think the city has worked out for... For everybody, for Aviatortopia to get all of its power without looking all gross, because we're trying to be a tourist attraction. Okay, so how do I move? Oh, here we go. There it is. So let's load up Aviatortopia. We're going to work on this one today. Uh, we'll probably hop back and forth, but I kind of want to see how these shows do and see if we sell out, because that would be amazing. Because if we would sell out on everything, I think we would pull in somewhere around, what, the 900,000 to a million marker? Which would be crazy. So, I, I like to run these little scenarios in my head, like, everyone's like, wow, the mayor's crazy! He just spent 400000 of the city money to have some shows! Oh, well, I'm gonna show them. Oh, look at this. About 34 k we're gonna pull in today. That's what we're estimated. The, everything is going really well in this city. You guys missed the off-camera. I played a couple hours. Um, and basically, in that time, we ended up losing a crap ton of population. Like... See, now it just fluctuated again. We're losing money every hour. Um, but I ended up losing a whole bunch of buildings. I had, I think, like 112 buildings at one time that were abandoned. And it was because of, like, I don't even remember. It was, like, a health thing or something? I have no idea why. Um, it was, oh, it's from the sewage. So that's why Aviatortopia was a big, big help because the sewage lines were really screwing us in the city. We had a, enough of them. It's just, like, they weren't working to the best of their ability. Um, 59 students going to high school. That's not that great. Uh, where's the grade school? Oh, it's the mayor's, wait, mayor's mansion. Oh, that's, that's my mansion. That's right. Yay, we get to upgrade the mayor's mansion. Okay, so what does the mayor's mansion want? A giant fountain, of course. Okay, so we have a great fountain. Everyone's going to get happier because we placed the fountain on the mayor's mansion. Um, okay, so let's see. So where's the elementary school? Those are apartments. More apartments. Oh, burpees. Okay, so where are you shuttle buses? Elementary school should be over here. Where is it? That's the high school. This is the college 965 students being taught at college 64 in high school. Oh, 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 there it is grade school 743 students So I don't know what the deal is with the high school the high school never has anybody and some of you guys were like well Do you have high school bus stops all the bus stops are the same? so they yes, I do have high school bus stops, but the buses, I guess people just don't want to go to high school. Okay, so let's see. We have an upgrade, it says. Oh, wait. Where was the upgrade? Was the upgrade here? Nope, that's not here. Well, where's the upgrade? Where was the upgrade you're talking about? Wait, where's our city hall? Oh, there it is. Do we have an upgrade for that? No, we don't have upgrades for anything. Okay, so the events are already loading with people. Let's see how this is doing. We are still negative $50,000 on this event. That's that's not bad, so if we lose 50000 Oh, look, we're a positive 106000 and it's still climbing. We have till 8 p.m. for these to keep climbing. Uh, this one's probably sold out. Yep, sold out. 36000 profit made. This theater's done a lot of good for me. We always make 36000 This one's actually in the green, so we totally made all of our money back, and we're actually going green on all of our events. So this is great. Let's check here. Why are you flashing? Do we really? Oh, we have an upgrade. Let's upgrade the mayor's mansion. Yay! More upgrades for the mayor and all of his mansion. Mansion-y goodness. We'll put an eagle on top. I think every mayor should have a giant eagle on top of his mansion. If I was living in a city and my mayor lived in a mansion, I'd be like, Wait! What is he doing with all of our taxpayer money? Okay, so let's see. The shows are about to start. I'm not going to check them until the show's actually started. So we have a one hour until the shows start. Oh, what year is it? Year two in December. So we're almost at the end of year two here. In Sim City already. It's it's been a fast couple of years, but we've really turned our city into something great. Um, okay, they keep telling me like that I need to get more. Oh, worker shortage. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, so it said you need more freight, so I got more freight, and now it says we need we don't have enough workers. I only have like three freight buildings, so I have no idea why it's doing that. Okay, so let's see. Current payout. It's still bringing in people. We didn't sell out. We were we were two thirds of the way. We'll probably pull in $90,000 in profit. So you got to remember, we got the $300,000 plus $90,000. So that's good. How about here? We almost sold this out. $156,000 and still climbing. So let's do the math. So this is $90,000, $156,000. We'll just say one hundred sixty. 
that's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars plus forty. Uh, that's like two hundred ninety thousand dollars. That's that's not bad in profit. So we'll get all the money back we spent plus two hundred ninety thousand. So the risk was uh, well worth it. Let's see how much money we made here. We're going to probably oh we're so close to topping yesterday's income. Oh that is so close. Firefighters return from Slumdog as heroes. Okay, yep, the events are over. 90k, 156, and sold out, of course, at 36,000. What do you want, upgrades? More upgrades for the mayor's mansion? What? Why do I get all this stuff? Okay, so, what is this? Is this like, this is on top of road. Okay, well, boom, there's a stupid patio that no one likes. Okay, so what is this even? This is a mayor's barbecue patio. No one wants a mayor's barbecue patio. Are they on drug? Oh, it went down to yellow. Worker shortage is not such a shortage anymore. God, I just want to hit 40,000 population. We are so close. And it like climbs. Oh, look at We're over a million dollars. We're millionaires. We're fucking millionaires. I've, I've never been a millionaire. Have a city that has over 100,000 gallons of poop. Oh, good, good. I like to have a lot of poop. Let's see, we have a lot of water. A lot of untappable, untapped resources. Oh, some of you guys said we could put trees over here. And that would make our civilians more happy. Large field with trees. I think there is an actual way to place trees. I just don't know how. How, how, how. Nature. I like nature and things, right? Roadside shade tree. Oh, oh, right here, trees. Oh yeah, there we go, treeing. We are treeing this up. Oh, look at all the healthy trees that are going up. Oh yeah, making the area a healthier place to be. Okay, so there, we just treed that area up because that was our most polluted area of the whole city. Now hopefully the trees bring new life. Let's schedule some events. We'll schedule a uh, world championship for soccer. We will schedule a rock concert again in here so they can go to rock concert and sports. And theater, they can get educated. We just spent a crap ton of money. Is the mayor's mansion, the mayor's mansion again? It's because we're a millionaire. They're like, oh, you're a millionaire mayor? Well, here you go. Keep having upgrades to your mansion. Okay, so, boom, a flag in front of the mayor's mansion. Why not? Right. Am I right? What's our approval rating in this city? 86%. Commercial happiness is on the decline. And so is industrial happiness. Oh, they're both on the rise, actually. Uh, medium wealth and high wealth. Or <laughs> low wealth doesn't exist. We could use some fr freight shipments. Uh, not enough shoppers. We like the new city buildings. Business is good. Sales tours are strong. So I don't know. They need more freight goods. So good thing we built the factories. Maybe that will produce more freight for our businesses. We don't have a crap ton of businesses or anything like that. There's just this line of skyscrapers. And then we have this, this, this freight area. I don't want to dedicate any more for freight because I think it's unnecessary. We have some dog. If we really need freight, we could import from them. But our population, look, is on the it's on the rise, and all of our events did well. We're we getting like 5,000 people since this commentary started, and if these do well here, we could be at like 1.5 million dollars here in Aviatortopia. And I think next comes like an airport and all that good stuff to start hauling even more people in, or at least see the train station has no weight, no passengers wait, even though we have 32,000 people coming through, um, and then we have all these bus depots. And what is the bus weight right now? What is the wait? 26 minutes. 48,000 people ride our buses each and every day, you guys. That is ridiculous. How many tours do we get a day? Uh, tours today? Tours yesterday, 28,000. Tours today, 11,200. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, is there any attractions? So there's these attractions you can build on limited uh, visitors per day. So uh, let's see what would be cool to build. A large llama, world's largest ball of twine, uh, that's lame. Um, what is that? Dolly the Dinosaur. Okay, let's do the Maximum statue, the Maxim guy statue. Okay, so it's overlapping. We want all of our tourist attractions in one area just because... Oh, right by the train station! Oh, that should be good. That's gonna be good. What's this? Giant Garden Gnome? The Giant Garden Gnome? I don't know, is that necessary? I don't think it is. Uh, well, let's look at the... Wait, we don't have anything of worship. So we don't have any churches. House uh, available for... So you can actually put churches in here? How much are these? Oh, these are free. Oh, oh, well, why don't I do this? this it's free. Um, I like free. Okay, so let's see. That's a skyscraper. We don't want to take down a skyscraper. Uh, okay, so... 
we're going to place a church right there so people can start to worship their gods and all that good stuff. What is this house? A house of worship, modern temple, mosaic, a church, and a temple. So we can place four of those. We don't need four of those. Uh, largest ball of twine. That's interesting, you guys. If you don't think the largest ball of twine is interesting, we're going to place it right by the casino. Let's get some more people in our city. Get some people over here looking at the largest ball of twine, and maybe they'll go into the casino and spend some money. Look, the casino's making money, you guys. Okay, so a dinosaur. A giant dinosaur. Where does he get placed? Giant dinosaur, I feel like he should be placed somewhere near our buildings. Um, oh, that takes up so much room. He's so big. That's what she said. Oh, man, he is way too big. Oh, that's what she said again. Okay, let's see. I want to put you... I guess we'll put him here. He'll take up two big buildings. We'll lose some population. But I think it's going to make some weird people that like giant dinosaurs happy, okay? I, I don't know who that is, but they're, I sure they, I'm sure they i sure they exist, okay? Uh, okay, so where else could this go? This guy, the giant gnome. So we're just trying to keep all of our statues in like one area. We only need one more statue, so we might as well build him here. So the llama. So now we got every little carnival thing around this area. Our All of our stadiums are right in this area. Our church is in this area. All of our attractions are in this area. Our casinos in this area. We should be cranking, I don't know, a pretty decent profit, I'm guessing. So this sold out. $190,000. This sold out. 36000 This did not sell out. It was close, though. It, you know, over two-thirds. But we made a crap ton of money. Can you say millionaire? Are we going to be a millionaire? We have 14 minutes to see. I'm guaranteeing we will be, because I can do math. Oh, 1.45! 1.45! We're rich! We're rich! Okay, so let's let's schedule another event. Oh, we're just making money, you guys. We're going to be able to do so many things next episode with all this money that we've earned. Okay, we're going to do... Let's do a sports event here. Low to medium wealth. And then we're going to have the rock concert of ages. So we're going to spend some money tonight. But look, we're still above a million dollars after like buying out all these events. Oh man, this is gonna make us money. How many people? Three kids went and looked at the Maximus statue. It's still closed for the day because it's it's early, early in the morning. It's 2 a.m. So I think you guys, this is a good place to end the episode. I hope you have enjoyed your Christmas. Uh, I hope it was a great one or your holiday or whatever you celebrate. Merry Christmas, happy holiday, happy festivus for the rest of us. But until next time, you guys, remember leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what we should do with all this money and what we could add to Slumdog and how we could get more tours here. I think we're doing a great job, though. But until next time, remember, take it easy. Live it squeezy.